Okay, the first thing we're going to do is remove the super drive unit. Alright, now there's three cables you'd need to disconnect. The first one is here, okay, and the way you pull that out is basically just gently pull and you'll find that it just releases, okay. There's the SATA connector here, there's another connector there. The way they pop out is just under, underpin them with your nail or your finger and they'll gently pop off. Okay. Now there's two there's two screws here that we need to remove. Um, again, keep an eye on the sizes because they're two different sizes. Okay, that's a long, longer one if I remember rightly, and that's the short one. So what we'll do is just pop those out. Yeah, that's right. You see, that's the longer one. the shorter one on the end there. Now be careful with that one on the end, it's very easy to drop. Okay, now what you'll find now is once they're undone, that unit there can be uh, kind of flipped out of the way. Now you need to unscrew the DVD drive, the super drive. There's three screws, one here, one in the corner, and one in the corner there. Now on my unit, just to speed things up, I've already taken out those two there. So we just need this one at the back. All right, so. We'll unscrew that one. Again, watch out because it's a small screw, very easy to drop, and infuriating when you do. All right, so the screw there, the screw there, the screw there, taking them all out. So to get the super drive out, you simply flip this piece out of the way. You should now be able to simply pick up the super drive. And there we go. And you can see that it's got um, a small clip on the back which we need to transfer. Okay, there's also this SATA connector that we need to transfer as well. So we'll pop that there for a second. We'll get our Optibay unit, which is here. First thing we need to do is transfer the SATA connector. It's very simple to do. You just pop it off with your fingers. Okay. And pop it on to the Optibay, making sure that you put it on the right way. Otherwise, you know, it won't go on, it won't fit. Um, the next thing we need to do is pop out these two screws here and take this fixing plate off. Okay. Um, again, they're tiny little screws, so be careful with them. Just so I don't drop them in the machine, I'm just going to pop them back on again for a second. So we pop those screws out. That's the first one. Pop the second one on. Out. There we go. Let's get rid of the super drive, we won't be needing that. Okay, now the thing with this clip here is to make sure you get it the right way around. The drive is going in face downwards, okay, and this clip needs to go in so the screws are upwards. It can be a bit fiddly to get this bit on, but it's not that hard. A couple of seconds of perseverance and we'll have it on. That's the first one. There's the second one. Pop it on, tighten them up. They don't need over tightening, just, you know, sort of finger tight. That's it. And you'll see now that we have the SATA connector and the clamp. So we'll pop the back off again. You don't, obviously you don't need to do that. I mean, I was just doing it to stop the screws falling in the machine. Okay, what we're going to do now pop the Optibay in where the super drive was. Exactly the reverse of what we've just done. Flip that out of the way, pop the super drive in, sorry, the Optibay drops into place like that. Couldn't be simpler. Now in terms of fixing it, the screws, there's only one screw on my Optibay, um, which is here. A couple of the others have the screws this side as well, but um, double check the model you have to see which, whether you need to put all three screws in or not. I've only got the one. So I'm just going to screw that one back in. So we'll get the hole lined up. In we go. 
there we go. Now we don't need to over tighten that, just to be clear. Next thing I'm going to do is resecure this. So we'll pop, line it up, pop it back on, and we need to screw it in. Now remember, that's the long screw, that's the short. So we'll grab the long one first. There we go. Just do the short one. There we go. Final stage of course is to reconnect those cables. Now it's impossible to get them wrong because they, they don't fit um, each other's port. So with the SATA one what you'll find is you just basically have to line it up, pop it down with your thumb. That's it. Same with this one. Line it up find the fitting, pop it down with your finger. Now, you don't need any force on those connectors, so that's a very important point. If um, if you feel like it's not going on, then it's not lined up. You basically just need to move it across until it secures. Um, this one here, exactly reverse it before, pop it in, there we go, tiniest of little pushes, and it pops into place. Just need to secure that cable out of the way because you don't want to hit in your fans. Right. That's it, that is all there is to it, swapping it out. Right, so the unit's done, we've got all the bits in, so what we're going to do now is put it back together. Now before we um, screw the back on, put the back on, okay, before we put all the screws back in, let's, we need to just double check and make sure that um, the drives are showing up, because obviously if you put the screws in and you've missed something, it would be terribly annoying. So what we'll do is just boot the machine up, Okay, I'm just going to pop my glass right in. Obviously, I don't want you to see that. I'll pop into Finder. Yeah, I can see my drive is now showing up. That's great. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll close it down again. Pop the screws in. There we go. So pop it onto its back. Now remember what I said about it having three longer screws. So what I tend to do is the longer ones first. So we'll pop those in. There we go, there's three long ones. Hopefully you remembered which space they go in. Incidentally, if you do, if you do put them in the wrong place, they, they stick out. So I'll show you if I put that in the wrong one. See how it sticks right out? If, it, if that happens, you've got it in the wrong hole needs to be flush. There we go. So now pop in the small ones. Like I said, be careful with these small ones. They're very easy to drop um, and they're a nightmare to find. But like I said, you know, the Apple Store were pretty good with me. They just gave me a little bag of screws when I went in there and asked. Don't over tighten them, because um, they're quite easy to strip as well. There we go. We now have 
a MacBook Pro with a SSD and a physical hard drive in there. So what we'll do is we'll pop back on, I'll show you uh, how to check your drives working and all that sort of good stuff. Right, here we are again on our MacBook Pro. This is after I've put in the new drive. So how do we check it's working and everything's fine? Well, pop into Disk Utility. Um, it's in the Applications Utilities folder or of course you can search for it with Spotlight. All right. You'll now see on the left hand side I've got my SSD but I've also got an additional drive there called Data Vol. All right. You can also have a look in about this Mac up in the top left. All right. Go into More Info. Select the Serial ATA section and you should see now where it was previously the SS, uh, sorry, previously the super drive, it's now our hard drive. Okay, so that's worked, that's there. We've now got lots of lovely storage. Okay, so that's my 750 gig drive, there's already loads of stuff on it. Um, and you also see I've got my SSD as well, which is that one, which doesn't have anything like as much on it. So there we have it. We've now got a MacBook Pro with two drives in it. I hope you guys find that useful. Um, I think it's what you're asking for. But uh, come back to me if you've got any questions. I'll try and answer uh, as best I can. Thanks.